Hey guys, Ambience here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to beat the Ladies' Night preset on the Custom Night of Five Nights at Freddy's 2. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we're up against here. Alright guys, here's the preset. Chica is set to 20, Toy Chica is set to 20, and Mangle is also set to 20. Everyone else is set to 0. The puppet of course is active though, we can't control the puppet's AI here. So let's go ahead and get into this. I do think this is going to be one of the easier presets, but it's also fairly luck-based. Um, I think this is also a good preset to start to learn the mechanics of the event animatronics. I still think new and shiny is better. I'll be doing a guide on that very shortly as well. Alright, there's Mangle. Now we wait for the more dangerous music to start playing. There we go. Start checking the hallway, checking the vents. Uh, we actually aren't going to be checking the right vent at all here, as we can tell when Mangle is there, just from the radio static alone. Might have been a little bit late on that mass drop, didn't expect it. Alright, we're fine. Alright guys, so remember Foxy is going to be showing up on this preset, even though he is set to zero, he always has a minimum AI of one, so he will still show up in some capacity. Make sure to listen carefully also whenever an animatronic is in the vent and you have the mask on, as you can usually tell when they leave on this preset, just by the banging around. If you hear banging around, then there's a high chance that Toy Chica has left. There's a slight chance that it could be Mangle, but usually you'll hear radio static over here if that's the case, unless Mangle is in the back of the vent on the camera and not actually in the blind spot. But most of the time, you can pretty safely rely on it. Always be listening, of course, for Mangle's distinct cue of radio static, since we're not checking the right vent. That is the way that we're going to be able to tell if Mangle's there. Flash the hallway a couple times, of course, as usual, just to keep Foxy at bay. He's not going to be super aggressive on this preset, but he can still kill you if you don't flash the light enough. So just flash it every once in a while. You can also stall Toy Chica and Mangle occasionally if they do happen to be in the hallway and you flash the light. Then that will stun them a little bit. Toy Chica showed up right there, so that was kind of good timing, I guess. Was about to uh, look off the vent and open the monitor, so glad that happened when it did and not after. Always remember guys, you do want to be taking off the mask as soon as possible on this preset and most of the time in general, whenever an office animatronic is in there, don't worry about taking off the mask too early as you will actually not be able to take off the mask while the lights are flickering like that, so good to know. Also guys, remember that while the lights are flickering, such as right now while Chica is in the office, that will actually pause Foxy's attack timer, meaning you are in no danger of getting jump scared by Foxy and he's not going to get any more aggressive while the lights are flickering. This isn't greatly helpful for this preset, as Chica is the only one who affects this. It does not apply to the vent animatronics, save for Toy Bonnie. But it is generally a good thing to know that helps out on a lot of presets, and it goes a long way to explain why Foxy is so much more aggressive on some presets than others, even though his AI is the exact same. So, for example, he's probably going to be a little bit more aggressive here than he would be, say, if you had no office animatronics, no Toy Bonnie, no animatronics that made the lights flicker, basically. So if you just had Toy Chica, Mangle, and Balloon Boy, and Foxy all set to 20, then Foxy would be trying to attack you pretty much constantly, and it would actually be very difficult. It would actually be much easier to have Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica on, which is why Foxy is not nearly as aggressive on things like 420 compared to what he is on... I could not think of a good example there for some reason. Um, it explains why Foxy's not very aggressive on 420 compared to something like Foxy Foxy, basically is what I'm trying to say. I went into this a little bit more in depth in my last guide, but I wanted to mention it here also. Don't think I did a super good job of it, but hopefully you guys get the overall point. All uh, right. Of course, you want to have very good reflexes as well, since Chica is set to 20. Just make sure that you don't get killed by her. Mangle's in the vent right now. Gonna wind it up a few ticks, put on the mask. Ordinarily, guys, I would also recommend flashing the hallway several times just to make sure that Foxy is kept at bay while you have the mask on for event animatronic. As I said, the uh, thing that goes on in the code where it pauses Foxy's AI timer, not AI timer, I don't know what I'm talking about, attack timer, sorry, I cannot talk today. Uh, it pauses Foxy's attack timer while the lights are flickering, but that does not apply to event animatronics save for Toy Bonnie. So, while you are trying to ward off Toy Chica and Mangle, then Foxy is gearing up for an attack. So, when you lower the monitor and you hear Mangle's radio static, maybe flash the hallway just a few times before you put on the mask in order to get rid of Mangle. And, uh, yeah, that should help you out quite a bit.
There we go. That's what the banging around in the vent sounds like, in case you were wondering. You should uh, be very familiar with that sound by now. So, yeah, as soon as you hear that, then that's what you want to do. At that point, you can take off the mask, check the vent light, and if Toy Chica's not there, then you just go right back to your regular routine. If she is there, then you're probably going to have a real bad time, and the best you can do is just put on the mask and hope she leaves rather quickly. The puppet is also very aggressive on this preset. He is on all Night 7 presets, because regardless of what the AI of any other animatronic is set to, the puppet's AI will always be 15, the exact same as Night 6. So, if the puppet seems like he's always being extremely aggressive, then that would explain why. It's because he is. I think this is a little bit of an oversight. Maybe it was only intended to affect harder presets, but yeah, for whatever reason, the music box winds down as fast as on night six, even if you have everyone else set to zero. Not really sure why that is, but uh, yeah, it's a thing. Foxy's still there? Nope, always blacked out. There he is, hello Foxy. Okay, should be rolling around to 5 a.m. any second here, so we are getting pretty close to the end of this preset. Not terribly difficult, just a little bit luck-reliant. Sometimes if you get really unlucky and you're not paying close attention, then Toy Chica can just kind of... <laughs> Sorry. Toy Chica can just kind of camp in the vent forever, I should say. And, uh, yeah, that can be very hazardous for our player character's health. Toy Chica camps in the vent for a while. Obviously, the music box is going to wind down very quickly. Foxy is going to start getting very aggressive, and just a bunch of generally bad things are going to happen at once. So hopefully she doesn't do that, but she should exit the vent most of the time when you hear the noise of her banging around in the vent. Okay, getting real close to 6 a.m. here. Another thing you got to be ready for, I've mentioned this before in my previous guides, but I want to say it again. While I am winding up the music box, the only thing on my mind currently, or at least the primary thing on my mind, is as soon as there's the slightest change in visual, I'm going to immediately flick my mouse downward and put on the Freddy mask. The reason that I think this is because although sometimes it looks like I'm just closing the monitor and Chica shows up, uh, which can happen, and does happen most of the time, sometimes Chica can also force down the monitor, and it can happen extremely early after you pull it up, so you always have to be ready for it at every single opportunity, otherwise you're going to have to have very little time to react, and in that case you're probably going to die if the animatronic is set to 20 like Chica is here. Alright guys, so that was the Ladies Night preset. Uh, tried to tried to mention as many things as possible. Uh, like I said, don't think I did a fantastic job for whatever reason I'm having trouble speaking today. So some of it may not have been super clear, but hopefully you guys got the overall point. So there's a few more of these to do right now. I might work on some other content before I put out the next video. I don't really know yet, but I am looking forward to tackling the next challenge. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching this guide. I hope it helped you and I will see you in the next one.